As long as it's taking the video, okay. that's, that should be fine. All right, so we're going to do a little demonstration of the uh, crystallization of supersaturated sodium acetate. Now, I have sodium acetate dissolved in this solution here at a concentration higher than I really have a right to. Uh, it is easier with this substance than with many other substances to achieve this. A saturated solution is like when you put sugar on your milk, uh, in your cereal, I mean, and, you, and it gets mixed in with the milk, and then after you eat the cereal, there's still that sludge of, of sugar down at the bottom that you've been waiting for, um, anticipating with great glee. Well, that stuff didn't dissolve in the milk because the milk was already saturated with that substance. It would not dissolve anymore. Well, I've dissolved more than the usual amount of sodium acetate in this solution than would normally be dissolved at this temperature. And so when I pour it onto a crystal of sodium acetate, I can cause it to suddenly crystallize all at once. And that process is exothermic, and that's the interest that we have in it today. So let's take a look at that. It's a neat process to watch. So I'm just going to pour this whole thing out right here. Here's a crystal of sodium acetate on this, uh, this little glass plate. Sure enough, the whole thing is crystallizing right before our eyes. And it's nice too because this is warming up my fingers. It's nice and warm to the touch. In fact, this is often used in uh, chemical hand, hand warming packs. Uh, and those kind are reusable. They have a little button that causes the crystallization. And when you use them, they warm you up. Then they get cooled off again, and you can put them in boiling water and um, cause it to come, become redissolved, and you can reuse it. So that is the exothermic recrystallization of sodium acetate. So if you wouldn't mind. So now everyone's had a chance to feel how warm it gets, and my fingers were chilly, so this is really nice. Warms my fingers right up. Uh, so let's take a look at what this stuff is actually like, and it's really pretty soft and breakable, there's really still all that water that it was dissolved in is still there. So it's pretty wet and smooshy. And what I'm going to do is collect it back into this flask, heat it up, and then I can do the demonstration all over again. So it's really a very nice thing. It's a sort of a repeatable demonstration and all the ingredients are reusable. So, so much for sodium acetate.